Badlands and trucks, yes! Hey, Misty. Happened upon some more murals. A little different. Mm. These can't say exactly how. Just different. Sheesh. Well, I think you're caught between strong personalities. Boring ones, even. They all... Nothing new. Don't just... So what do I do? Just be... Spiritual leader. Seriously, he's harmless. Just got a few wires crossed. Leave him alone. You know how many half brained gunks are gonna believe the shit he's spitting? I refuse to hear about nomad cannibals one more time. Come on. I mean, it's it's a little funny. Guess you. <laughs> Search. The truth cannot be silenced, ever. No problem. I mean, who's gonna tell me we faked the Mars landing if I let him knock your teeth out? You have no faith in my words, do you? You think I don't know when I'm mocked, when they take me for a false prophet? It's hard to take your interpretations seriously, but there is a little truth in what you say. Sometimes even more than a little. You see it too! You know that behind a veil of darkness lurk creatures from our nightmares, but you fear to believe it! You know, if you had any kind of real evidence for this grand cosmic plot... I do! Tonight! They're meeting at an old factory in Kabuki to exchange something important! Observe them! Seize this item, this Alpha Centauri artifact! You'll see I was right from the beginning! Okay, see what I can do. Thanks for the tip, I think. You mustn't intervene too soon, or too late. All could be lost. The fate of humanity rests upon your shoulders. Don't let us down. Do not let me down. No pressure, got it. Time has come for a close encounter of the third kind. A small step for V, but a giant leap for humankind. Who are you betting on showing up? The reptilians or techno-necromancers? The Spanish Inquisition. I admit, I didn't expect that. Enough joking around. Gotta be quiet, gotta wait. expected, I guess. Gotta be honest, though, I'm pretty disappointed. Don't lose hope yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
someone actually showed. It's Maelstrom. Techno necromancers, then. I knew those reptilians were bullshit. some actual conspiracy shit going down right now. What says the Wolf Father to the Moon Mother as she sets to Earth? I have protected the realm of man and shadow, but today they are protected by our children, whose name is Patricide. of his failure, he became lost in the forest. Lilith has concealed the Tenth Circle from the Ancestor's eyes. really is nothing but an endless disappointment. Wonder what our prophet will say about this chip. this mothership. How could I? They sprayed this black mist, couldn't see nothing. Poor Gary, he sacrificed himself for us. Right now, I'm collecting donations for a monument in his honor to remember his courage and the crimes of Alpha Centauri. Care to spare a few eddies? In love and memory? Nah, why not? Gary's earned his grand fucking monument. Take this, before I change my mind. God, I don't know what to say. Gary'd be so touched. Got this chip here. Mind taking a look? <sighs> Gary did say you're devoted to our cause. I right, show me. I'll tell you what I know. What is it? What's this all about? Gary knew this would happen. They're here to bend us to their will, to, to make us their puppet. 
Whoa, calm down. Who is? The Techno Necromancers? And lo, they shall descend upon the earth unseen, the sky shrouded in darkness. That's what he said. Night's coming, the eternal night. And so ends the epic saga of discovering secrets of paranormal beings. What's this story taught us? Give us our Gary back! That lack of closure sucks. I don't disagree, but I had something else in mind. Some people know more than others. They hear the private conversations of the world's elite. And what do they do with that knowledge? They invest all their time reinventing age-old fairy tales. Where is your sense of imagination? I choose to believe that we narrowly avoided war with vampires and aliens. Don't we all? Vampires, aliens, reptilians, all captivating, romantic even. Truth, on the other hand, is brutally mundane. It's corpse pulling the strings. Twisted bastards skezzed out on their power fantasies. Think that's what we saw? Shady corpo biz? No doubt about it. They're the world's real bloodsuckers. Them, and always them.
will it be this time? Trash processing plant, deserted in cart station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. No. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait.
use your help. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. He's got the gift of the gap. Duke Can't be denied, one but spark. I need to All it takes for Japan town to go up in flames. What are you? Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, V. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for your Nobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who'd care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message that be? I am here, Gumindomo. Watch your backs. No one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki. Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, 
we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work, I will watch your back. Now, get to it. worked. And? Two-bit thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sid, I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this saga scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. The dream might cross, but only might. We'll see. Glad we're on the same page. You never know what a dog's thinking. It might be the same thing. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so. Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. Let him stray even a couple of feet. You can say goodbye to his fucking honor. Go. You're a stranger in a strange land. Going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Go! 
Look! Louder! Louder! That is why I have decided to double the amount of our active night city security forces. President Myers has called this a breach the last in the army of the war. Provocation targeted the power. The NUSA nice. and surrender it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a, not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. So... Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Well, why does Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at the critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked, but we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. Gotta go. Come. I have found a good place. Call you back. Joseph. So, where were we? We must just Trouble climb up here. Time. We'll catch up in person. Right, so then what? Hey, V. Recon's in our rear view now. Why do you Get wait? yourself ready and meet me at Alex's. Sure. See you there. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much? Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions, 
A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Pipes. Sam? We could use them to get inside. Got eyes on the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. This is not bad. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Antenna. Security hub's liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering a Big Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Fine-looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanecho. A bacchanecho? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost. I suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko, too. Miss Home? A foolish question. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Childhood memories. Let's see. The hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. 
corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. I guess. So they could turn him into corpo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. And all you had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? Shiba 11 slum rats? They're there. Scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that too. We cannot fix everything at once. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame them either. Got some regrets, but Kleppin from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Compic, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something. Worse. You do not look so bad. I will try to enter the warehouse. I will try. 
Hold their attention that way.
mission. Okay, I'm in. Find the largest float. They are gone. Float from inside. That tech. It could be an ordinary terminal. Gotcha. How's things at your end? Good. I reached the control room. And make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. When you finish, I'll make the system sick. It's ours to do with as you please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha, ha. I just may do that. Good work. Hey, it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the road is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your wheel. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. Me, you must hurry. I'm hard up like a heavy approaches. You fucking worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already.
delicate about the matter. I'd rather discuss that in person, if you don't mind. Can we meet? Hey! Can't hey. commit just now. Busy like I've never been. It'd be unwise. Enemy contact! Oh. Oh. We were talking about... Can't commit just now. Busy well, like I've never I been. It'd the be unwise. But I guess we could wait a couple more days. We'd really rather work with you. Try to squeeze us in and give me a call. Wanted to tell me something? Just that I'm truly floored by your dedication. You didn't kill a single cyber psycho. I know how much easier and simpler it can be to take a life rather than save one. Really, V, nice work. Some of the cyber psychotic have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn enough to write a piece on it. But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks. Wanted to tell me something? About cyberpsychosis? Not really, but thanks again for the help, V. Wanted to tell about of it. I assume you're ready now to meet and talk about the job. Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you.
Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales? Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. I said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Ryan a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber psycho attack. And claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it easy. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea, those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any interest in app zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Abra. They left literally seconds before the attack. Looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Out of practice. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister, later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah. 
But it could have. the city with what he was packing probably what happened body disappeared from the morgue sight unseen and then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit know that or just talking out your ass again once you've seen all i've seen don't need to know things to know them people are the same everywhere okay it's coming out your ass oh well well Thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy, and his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him, I'll put you in touch. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name is V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why you're not a cop. In a tight spot. Don't I'm conducting a private investigation into this matter. Good luck with that. And do me a favor, lose this number. I like PIs about as much as I like the scop at Caliente. I'm no private eye. So what are you? Meet me. You'll find out. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat.
like? Huh. Wonder what about? Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Han. Mind if we step off to the side? Han and me, we're like one mind. Got no secrets. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss Ori told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part Don't of this. Don't make trouble. I gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. You wanted to talk? For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters. Hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. All right, wait here then. For uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck no. 
said I was done. I was out. Fuck. Hey, Neil. This off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address, we're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers showed, broke all my fingers. Wasn't here then. Now I am. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Anyone asks, we'll say we got the address off a body we fished out of the bay. Uh, fine. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. I got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Rhine died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well, that's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Orvoth's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Now let's head to the club. Seems a stronger lead to me. All right. Guess I'll go with your gut. Coming with? Better meet there. Fine with me. Turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies. Don't expose your throat. Ha fucking ha. We're short of warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me.
Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me you got a hunch. Yeah. Cop intuition. Something like that. Stairs inside. Clever. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Looks like an office. So what? Comps are what we want. Why? Comps are the Dump. Nothing left to clep here. We ain't watching it. Oh, we're fucking waiting. For what? Till they send us the scratch for a job well done. Smash it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit. Time for the pay up. I'll pay you. You get half of what you were promised. I get the intel I need. Half? For half? I can tell you how tall he is, but uh, that's it. Half in your hand right now. Real scratch. Or the whole thing. Someday. Maybe, but probably never. Uh, uh, all right. Scratch. Now. Who told you to wreck the club? And why? Well, ding. Oh! Lucius Ryan's right hand bull terrier? Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election? Right fuck it for the job! Thanks for the help. Yep. 
Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. Uh, a club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? You mean Han? Yeah, him. You didn't know. Not a thing? Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffaloes. And we're going straight there. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec. The canine ownership tax will increase to $1,000 per dog per With this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know this town inside out. So you know how it works. At City Hall, in the street. Those are the same. Ryan knew it too. He fought for this city. Cleanly at times, dirty at others but always with a lot of heart. Wouldn't have wanted him to get dragged through the muck. Ryan was an asshole, but an asshole who got shit done. I remember what it was like before he was elected. Also remember who stopped the Militech Panzers when the NUSA tried to annex Night City. V, appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home or... Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, 
That's my plan. Should have fed him some lead as a goodbye. Only way to be sure. Maybe it is. But it's not my way, V. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. Holt is the motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. No, wasn't like that. Not quite. So what happened? I don't know. Just feel like this goes deeper than you, me, Han, and Holt. We'll probably never know who is behind all this. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan, got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Tell you one thing. Probably gonna be more than one, but all right. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. I'm always careful. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. Is everything all right? Case is pretty complex. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. Rather not draw any conclusions yet. 
But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated, but dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. So we were right? Yes, and that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. You coming? I'm already here. Great. Be there in a flash, promise. Right on. See you soon. Wait, hold up. Which trigger we using? Yours. Okay. Beast's ready to roar. Be right over. Later. Hey, I bet a bundle on a win. Losing's just not an option, eh? Hey, look. Samson. Fresh meat. Hmm. <laughs> Be embarrassing to lose to a rookie. Chill. Gunk will probably crash out on the first one. Oh, hey, Wood! We at home here! Feel me! Hey, V! Good to see you. So how's it look to you? NC badges are okay with this? NC badges can't see a problem around the stack of Eddie's put in front of them. Solve every problem, don't they, Eddie's? Mm-hmm. Any tips before we roll? Don't take your foot off the chew. My job will be to slow everyone else down. Ultimately, it'll be speed, not firepower, that'll win us this race. Go fast. Got it. Oh, take this shard. We need to hit all the checkpoints or we'll be disqualified. If you want to hang a bit, do. I'll be in the rig. When do we start? Shard. It's all on there. Best come back to me in one piece, baby. Nothing missing, got it? I love you! Last bit! Last bit! No missing chance to win! First elimination rally coming up. Everyone ready? 
jinx it! First place. I heard you. Let's hold up at the finish line a minute, just in case. You got it. You do this for the eddies, the winds, the glory. Why do you rip? It's like you've got laser focus. You don't like winning? Meh. It's the road that matters, not the destination. So do me a favor and keep us on that road and out front. You'll have your journey. I'll have my victory. Okay, I was just asking. Need a lift to the shop? Yeah, sure. All right, let's go. 